Welcome back guys and happy Christmas from the Belvedere College Health and Wellbeing YouTube channel. Exam season can be a stressful time of year for us all, so it's important that we stay on top of our sleep, nutrition, recovery, and even exercise during this period to reduce stress, keep the brain switched on, as well as the body fresh. Over the next few days, we'll be coming to you with tips and recipes to help you get through this period as healthily and as stress-free as possible. Up first, we have a lunch or dinner recipe. So sticky teriyaki salmon with oven roasted sweet potatoes and a veg of your choice on the side. I've gone for peas on this occasion, but you can have broccoli, carrots, parsnips, whatever tickles your fancy, as they say. Salmon or oily fish in general, mackerel could be another one. Great all year round, but particularly during exam season. Why? Because it's good for that cognitive function and it also has omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, all right, which help with that cognitive function, help with our cardiovascular health. These are fatty acids that can't be produced in the body, so we need to get them from our diet. Therefore, this is a really good nutritious recipe all year round, as I said, but particularly during that exam season when our brain is often in overdrive. The sweet potatoes are going to give you a nice complex carbohydrate, which will give you a slow, sustained release of energy throughout the day, making this a great choice for an exam period, lunch or dinner. Hope you enjoy guys and bon appetit once it's done. So step one, we're going to chop up our sweet potato guys. Personal preference, whether you leave the skin on or not, obviously wash them first, but I like to leave the skin on my sweet potatoes. I chop them off at both ends and then cut them into chunky wedges. Once you have them all chopped up, the oven should have been preheating to about 180 or 200 degrees anyway. We're gonna move our sweet potatoes into an oven baking tray or a big dish, I'm not really sure what you call it. Comes out with a press and all of the sweet potatoes fit in it. That's the most important thing. Just a little sprinkle of salt and pepper onto our sweet potatoes. Also garlic powder if you have it, any other spices that you may like such as paprika or even chili flakes go really well on these. Just pre-warn those who you're cooking it with that you don't want to blow the head off them. After we put our salt, pepper, garlic powder and any other spices on, we're gonna take some olive oil, about one to two tablespoons into the baking tray and then we're just gonna shake them around to make sure all the sweet potatoes get coated in both the spices and the oil. Just gonna give them a real nice flavor after they've been cooked. So just shake it around, be sure you don't drop any out and then we're gonna go into the oven for an hour. Whoops, little one flipped out there, but we stick it straight back in and pop them into the oven for an hour. So while our sweet potatoes are now in the oven, we're gonna get prepped for our sticky teriyaki sauce. There's the little dog one in the background, if anyone spotted them. But what do we need for this? So we're gonna chop up our garlic cloves. Now this is dependent on you, whether you'd like a chunky or a, or a fine teriyaki sauce. Personally, I like it a bit chunky, so I don't chop them too fine. There's still a nice bit of bite and a bit of crunch in them when you get the sauce. So we're gonna dice them up as so, minding out for the little piggies that we don't chop them off. Particularly be careful with those sharp knives. Next up, we're gonna need the zest of one lime. So I believe this is called a grater. You're just gonna scrape all the skin off your lime into a bowl. This one that I have is nice and handy, comes with the needed apparatus. So I'm scraping all that off, zest of one lime into the bowl. So we have our garlic chopped, we have our lime zested, if that is a verb, 
And now we're gonna heat a tablespoon of olive oil in a pan over a medium heat. Garlic goes in, we're gonna add the lime zest to this. We're gonna add salt, pepper, ginger paste is what I have. You'll see it all coming up now. Or fresh ginger finely diced. Chili flakes for a bit of spice. You can use fresh chilies for this as well. Again, just go easy or light on them, depending on how spicy or how much of a kick you're gonna want in your teriyaki sauce. Okay, next up we've got the ginger paste. As I said, we can use fresh ginger for this. Apologies, there was a little plastic thing stuck on this, so I just had to fiddle around with it before I could get it in the pan. But this is ginger paste. I find it's quite good for things such as sauces, just gives a bit more of an optimal texture, I suppose. But fresh ginger uh, would also go perfect with this. After the ginger paste, so the equivalent of about a thumb size piece going in. After that, we're gonna add some honey, two tablespoons going in to the pan. Okay. After the honey, we're gonna add five tablespoons of soya sauce, stir everything around, and we're gonna keep this on a heat until it reduces down into a nice sticky teriyaki sauce. You'll see in the next clip, the sort of texture we want it to get to. So it will be quite liquidy at the start, but after some time, it will reduce right down into that sticky teriyaki sauce that we're looking for. So the juice of the lime has gone in as well. Honey and soy sauce should be up next, as I said. Just stirring it around constantly to make sure everything is getting coated in the pan. So five tablespoons of our soya sauce. And next up, another little stir, then our two tablespoons of honey go in. It is gonna be a quite a liquidy mixture at the start. We let that reduce down over time, about 10 or 15 minutes, it's gonna reduce down into a nice sticky teriyaki sauce that we're looking to serve up. see here now it's reducing down into a sort of thicker more sticky texture and that's what we're looking for meanwhile we've got our salmon prepped a little bit of butter a little bit of oil on our two salmon darns they're going into the oven for 15 minutes <laughs> 